Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Mike Moran, your instructor for IT 140, Intro to Scripting. Today I'm going to talk about Lab 4.14, Counting Input Length Without Spaces, Periods, or Commas. This is a pretty easy lab, but there are multiple ways to solve it, many different ways to solve it. And I'll show you three different ways today, each a little bit different. Some are easier for the newbie, some are a little bit harder, but are more powerful. So I'll show you these ways. So the first thing is understand what the lab is asking you to do. And in that case, you have a text, you accept text input, like a sentence here, and you want to count the number of characters in that input that are not spaces, periods, or commas. Okay? And there are many different ways to do this. So I I'm going to show you three. Here is PyCharm in the background. The first way, um, is let's use this one right here in this option i'm going to manually count the desirable characters and ignore the characters that i don't care about okay so i'm going to i'll show you these three options here in just a little bit so the second option is to use the str the built-in string dot replace function and then the third option is to use regular expressions but let's start with the first one we're just counting characters in this case we um, get the input from the user and I create a count variable that I set to zero and I say what characters do I want to remove in that case I'm removing the space or the or period or comma so if I see any of those three I don't want to count those okay um, and I go through uh, every character in the user input if that character is not one of these three that I don't care about, space, period, comma, I increment my count variable. That's it. And then when I'm done, I print out the length of um, the, uh, the variable itself, character count. Okay. So think about this. I'm, I have a string. If it's an acceptable character, I increment the count. If it's not, I ignore it and move on to the next character. So let's take this and run it. We're going to pass in their input string that they gave us in the lab web page. And we're going to run this in PyCharm. And from input, we get 21 back, which is good, which is what we want. Because in their example, they see 21 as well. Perfect. So that's good. And we could take this, copy it into Zybooks, and run it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So let's go ahead and paste all this in. There we go. Here is the lab. Same code um, okay. with just one print statement at the end. I commented out the others so that way we can get through the lab because Zybooks is really picky on white space character placement. We know that, right? Here we go. Run the lab. 10 out of 10, which is what we want. Awesome. Okay, well that's cool, but are there other ways to do this? Yes, there are many other ways. The second way, like I mentioned earlier, is we're going to use the built-in um, text replace. Oh, there, there you go. That'll work. Text so the string, excuse me, string.replace. So in this case, <clears throat> we will have the same as before. We have our characters that we don't want, okay? And then I'm going to iterate through my little list of unwanted characters here. And for each of those unwanted characters, a space, period, a comma, I'm going to look at my user text here. I'm going to say, if I find that character in my user text, I'm going to replace it. Replace it with what? I'm going to replace it with a empty string. A blank, right? Not a space, just an empty string. A string of length zero. And let's try that. Let's see if that works. Here's our code. I've commented out the first option. We're keeping the second option. Submit this for grading. Run it, and we get 10 out of 10. Awesome. So if you prefer using PyCharm, use it. When you're done testing, copy that code into PyCharm, or excuse me, into Zybooks. And then, because you need Zybooks to actually record this, your labs to get points, okay? So this was the second option, using the string replace method. But let's try a third option. 
we're going to use, this is more advanced, this uses regular expressions. And there's a lot of information on regular expressions. And I mean, I that learning regular expressions is in and of itself like, it would take you at least a week if you want to learn them in detail. But for our purposes, all you need to know is go to this web page if you want to learn more about regular expressions. Okay, docs.python.org slash three slash how to slash regex.html. That will teach you, that'll give you all you need to know about regex. Uh, the option, the, the lesson here is you have to import the RE library, RE equals regular expressions. You create a pattern. In this case, the pattern is our characters that we don't want. Okay, same as before. But then you throw some brackets around them. Open bracket, close bracket. When you're done, this pattern will look like this right here. It'll be the characters we don't want with our brackets around them, okay? And then we call the re.sub function, okay? And you pass in your pattern. You pass in what you want to replace if those, if any of those characters are found in your, you know, in the pattern, and the input string itself that we're trying to clean up and count. So that's it. Call the function re.sub, pass in your pattern, the replacement characters, that's you know the blank string, string of length zero, and then the user's text. That's it. So let's go back to our code here. Here's the reg regular expressions. And look at this. Import re. Does Zybooks handle that? Let's find out. And it's running. Look at that. 10 out of 10. We are good to go. So I just showed you three different ways to solve this lab. I'll uncomment them all so you can see. Okay. And go back to this one. So this was option one here at the top, where we simply counted characters manually. This is the default method that many students use at first because that's all I know and that makes sense, right? We've been counting characters, we've been looping, this makes sense. That does work, option number one right here. Option number two is to use the string fun the string object's built-in replace function, okay? Replace the unwanted characters with an empty string and then count what's left. That's what we did there, that works as well. And then finally, option three, to use regular expressions a more advanced technique, but this is much more powerful because you can do so much more with regular expressions when it comes to string parsing. And you'll learn that down the road in your IT career and maybe a little bit in this class if you want. Okay, everybody, thank you for listening. I hope this lab was helpful, or this lab explanation was helpful. And now you have a way to solve lab 4.14. So none of you should fail this lab. I have just solved it for you, giving you three different ways to solve this lab, okay? Good luck, have a great day, and email me if you have any questions. Bye.